Hey guys, let's go ahead and go over these review questions and I'll show you on the right hand side in Premiere Pro. Okay, first question, how to import. So I'm going to click on here, um, make sure it's on Premiere Pro. I'm going to go to File, Import. Now I have set up something on my desktop, review video. I'm going to bring in all of these. So I'm just going to click, hold down Shift, and then click Import and it will bring it over into this section right here. I'm going to save number two for the very end. I'll skip to number three. What is a bin? A bin is this right here when you hover. It's a folder. It basically is a way to keep things separated. So I'll type one for music and then I can find my um, music files and drag them into the music one. I can create a new bin and call it um, video and I can drag my video files into there and then it keeps them organized for me and then this is a PNG. It's only one, I don't need a bin, but let's just say I did. Title page and drag that into there. Okay, so that is a bin. Um, next question, which tool allows you to move one picture? Um, before we get to that, how about I bring some stuff over so that I can actually show you. So I'm just gonna grab my title page, bring it, bring it over to the um, timeline and then I'm going to come down to my video and I'm going to click this use this one and I'm going to bring it over to my timeline um, so I need to zoom in and see my picture here it is I'm going to extend it quite a bit so it's not so um, short and then so here we go this tool, so here's my toolbars up here they moved around on me the selection tool allows you to drag one item. Should you want to drag more than that, so I'm gonna just bring this over. Let's say that I had my audio tracks. Let me go ahead and grab my music and let me bring my zombie music. Ha, ha, ha. It's not really music, it's like a sound effect. Okay, so if I wanted to bring everything and I wanted to drag everything from this point on, I would come and I would use this um, track select board tool, which is this one right here. And what it means is whatever you click on, it will drag all those items over, leaving whatever you don't want. Now it gets a little tricky sometimes when it comes to sound. If it extends all the way over, you might have to slice the sound or like sometimes what I'll do is I will drag all this over, then go back to the selection tool, click on just what I want and bring it back. Whoops. If I did that right, there we go. Select just that and bring it back. So the answers to, um, number, let me look at it and see, number four and number five, selection tool and track select forward tool. Okay, so moving on, what tool allows you to make a separation of video or an audio? All right, so I want to play this zombie music um, sound that I have right here, and I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it because it's gonna come through my headphones. Oh, that's awesome. You'll hear it when I'm done with this. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do is use the razor tool to cut it. So I want this to um, extend for a while. I'm just gonna go ahead, just because it's such an awesome sound and you're gonna love this video when I'm done, I am going to extend this all the way over here and I'll use my razor tool to cut it. And then I'm going to use my selection tool to get the rest of the zombie music, or not music, but sound, and delete. Okay. Let's move on. How do you fade out music? All right, so here is my sound, and if I double click on effects, it will take me over to effects on the right hand side, and I'm going to go to audio transitions, and then I'm gonna choose a transition and drag it onto my sound, and I'll have it there. That one didn't seem to wanna work. Let me try another one. Or maybe it did, and I just have to zoom in. No, it didn't, so let me try it again. There we go, okay. So you just drag it from your effects on top of your audio. Um, let's see, what are the two ways to add text? So let's say I wanted to add text to my video right here. Um, I'm gonna go to two ways. I can do, see my tool shifted around on me? That drives me crazy. I'm gonna click on my text tool and I can say, I am adding text. That's one way. Or I could come over to, if I could click on graphics, I can choose browse and I can choose a pre-existing graphic um, and that is actually the answer to number 10. How do you choose a pre-existing graphic? I'm just going to drag this over on top of here and you can see that that um, got in the way. Let me undo that for a second. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me 
undo that. Um, I'm going to move everything over for a minute. Drag it all down for just a second while I take this title and bring it in. I'm going to put it on the higher one. And then I could go ahead and click on this. Okay. Okay. I could use my text tool, highlight it, and say, maybe, hang on a minute. Let me get rid of that. And I can change it to maybe Mrs. McCoy is awesome because Mrs. McCoy is awesome. It would help if I'm on the graphic first. Okay. That really looked funky. Okay, so what you guys are going to do is, those are the two ways. What else am I missing? Um, if you want to alter the volume on a video so that a music track can be heard, what do you do? Okay, so if I had my zombie sound, which I do, over here, and I wanted to play the zombie sound over top of my video audio, which is right here, what I could do was go ahead and double click the sound, um, but you see that nothing happens. So you have to unlink it first. You right click and say unlink, and you can double click the sound, and you can come up here to effects control, and you can go to volume and uh, level. And then you can lower your level that way, and that will lower the sound so that you can still hear the audio and lower the sound. All right, last thing is how to export a video. Um, and what you're going to do, and since I am done with this, what I would do is click on here and go to File, Export Media. Here we go, and H.264. If you click on the title, you can change it to whatever name you want, Review, and you can select where it saves. I'll select in the review video and click save and you then have an MP4. All right guys, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Your test is tomorrow.